people go fishing or just go near a river because it helps them remind them of home. If they come from different areas and then they migrate here, it you know reminds them of a connection that they had there. Hi everybody, my name is Emma and I am a community health advocate. I started about three years ago. We are all here to work for the same purpose, which is to inform our community about the contamination in the Duwamish River. I know many people live in the Seattle area, but not many know where the Duwamish River is, and this is where we're at. It is a five mile river located between Tequila and Elliott Bay. It runs near the 99 and it is between Georgetown Beacon Hill and South Park and that's actually where the most contamination is because of the industrial area. In 2001 the Duwamish River was declared a Superfund site by the Environmental Protection Agency. A Superfund site is a site that is one of the most toxic places in the nation and therefore it needs to be identified and cleaned up. The resident fish, um, since they are constantly eating the sediments, they are the ones that collect the most chemicals. If you're fishing in the Duwamish River, we only suggest that you eat salmon since it's a transitory fish. It only has a small amount of time in the Duwamish River and resident fish live here all their life, so you want to avoid them. Seeing that people still fish here, which I mean, um, I think it's good if they know, you know, to fish salmon, but if they don't, then they don't know exactly the risks that they're probably putting themselves and their families in. There are four parties that are helping to make the cleanup happen. In 2014, the project started and the agency that is leading it is the EPA and they have partnered with Public Health to guide community members and community teams to help spread the information. People are always migrating. That's why it's really important about um, the t new material that the public health is creating. And so just letting them know them like the most important rules so that they are not only protecting their health, but also making sure that they don't get in trouble, you know, simply for trying to provide for their family or for themselves. I think that we're breaking down all these barriers, which is really important just for um, our communities and for agencies working for the same purpose, you know, to bring awareness, to make sure that our communities are healthy and that, um, that they're still doing the activities that they love to do, just in a safer way. <laughs>